honour proudly declare my membership of U Unite the Union and say well done to all the people who signed the petition to allow us to have this debate. Out of this debate, I just want to know two things from the Minister. Firstly, when pay has risen by just 4.4 per cent between 2010 and 2016, yet the cost of living rose by 22 per cent in that period, would the government accept that they have, in reality, been inflicting on se public sector workers a real terms pay cut? And I say real terms because they are the only terms that matter to people outside of the Westminster bubble. And secondly, can they really say that they value our public sector workers when they they first freeze their pay and then cap it at when they keep it, our services going day in and day out. I ask these two questions because it seems very difficult to even get the government to acknowledge the problem. Public sector workers need a pay rise, one that is above inflation as part of a settlement which is properly funded. If it isn't, and, and public sector workers know this, is it, if it isn't properly funded, we'll know it's just a continuation of the cuts through redundancies. And if these public sector workers don't get this pay rise, I will support these workers in whatever industrial action they take. Yeah, yeah. If withdrawing their labour is all they can do to get this government to see reason, then they have my support. Yeah. Yeah.